Howdy folks, today we're looking at a different tool. We're always looking at different tools. Today the tool is uh, microphones. In this case, wireless microphones. If you're a YouTuber or you do uh, public address speaking, anything along that line even, a good dynamic wireless microphone can be a huge, huge game changer. And let's face it, important part of any video, especially on YouTube, is audio. You've got to have good audio. I really like to push that idea because I've seen so many channels that I click to and I can barely hear the guy speaking. It's all rattly, it's cracky, it's breaking up and I'm listening hard and I'm turning the speakers up and it's like, you know what, I give up. I will go look at somebody else's video because he doesn't have good audio. So we're going to check this out today. Wireless mics. Hey, let's get started. Yes. Yeah, if you're a YouTuber, or if you're a wannabe YouTuber, or if you're into public address systems and weddings or whatever, good audio, yeah, you need it. And that goes right to microphones. And I just grabbed a couple of loose ones that I have laying around the shop right now to pull this together to show you a couple of things. But like I said, we're gonna test this today. But I wanted to go over some of the old microphones too and just go from one to the next uh, what the problems are. Actually, in the early days, the very first thing that was uh, shown to me was this right here. Uh, to get a wireless system and get one of these lapel mics that would you know, sit here and you'd have a transmitter and a receiver that looks like this. This is an audio box system, kind of expensive. I think they're around three, four hundred dollars at the time. I don't know what they cost now, if you can still get them. Uh, it actually says, uh, yeah, Audio Technica, excuse me, um, Audio Box. Psh. Audio Technique. And uh, this was uh, advised to me by another fellow who did video work. And this was what he said would work fantastic. And it was a total disaster. It kept picking up, I think it was airport and plane calls to uh, local uh, radio stations. It seemed like everything was coming in. And also, any movement around started to cause hissing and cracking all the time. So the audio was actually terrible and because the microphone is like right here somehow it's a cheap mic and it just sort of loses the dynamic range of what you know I should sound like so I was very very unhappy with this uh, situation plus you have to keep the batteries fresh and they got a one of these has to sit with the camera at all times when you're recording so it was just was a yeah just a no-go and uh, that was a wireless system. The next system I uh, went into, tried, was uh, recording separately from the video and I've gone lots of disasters. I should have brought that out here. I have a little Sony one with a tool, dual mics on it that uh, is rechargeable that you can uh, record just audio with. And again, the dynamics and everything, you have to work and work and work on the audio files to fix it, to patch it up, to make it sound half decent. And this one went along with it. It was the same thing. This one here plugs into a uh, iPhone. It's for an Apple iPhone, so it has a little you know, lightning plug right here. And this clips on the mic like this, and then you can you know, record your audio with it. And again, it was the sound was so bad. Uh, basically, even with good software, it was like, I can't even fix this. It's so bad, the audio. So, yeah. And same goes for this. This was a uh, microphone, so-called professional mic. Picked it up somewhere along the way. And this is more of a swing-out desktop type mic that would sit over top of you, like a boom mic or something. And I thought it would be a good boom mic. It was not. It Again, it just lacked the dynamics and the sound. So this sort of thing just went out the window. Plus, if you move around a little bit, the microphone would lose you, you know. So, you know, what you if you were in a 12 inches, it was great. If you got two feet away from it, it dropped off tremendously. So the volume was like up and down, something terrible. And I so again, you know, a lot of frustration. This is a really good mic. Okay, there's really not much criticism to the, uh, the Blue Yetis and all that. But uh, there is a problem. It's a USB. So it plugs into a computer and you might do voiceover with it or something. And it does have really nice dynamic sound and everything. Really like this mic, but it's only a computer mic. It's not going to plug into my camera and allow me to record good audio on the camera. So, yeah, so much for that one. Uh, now, we get into some money. And this was a situation here where we get a Rhodes. This is an XLR connecting uh, mic to this particular camcorder, uh, the X1000 from Panasonic. This is not a good microphone, okay? It's an expensive microphone for what it is, and you have to work your audio files quite a bit to get up to dynamic range and get the sound you really want. It, it's doable, 
so I guess that's okay, you know. In fact, what we're recording on right now is one just like this, but it's a Rhodes Power Mic. This fed into a uh, GH GH4 camera right now, but it's you know, and it does a trick. I, I do like it. It's it's okay. It does have its shortcomings. A wireless would be really nice for a lot of reasons, and one of them would be if you're using different cameras. And I do. I have a Canon system that I use as well as the Panasonic's, and sometimes the Canon. That's where the fail is. Uh, unless you're really close up on top of it, the Canon just doesn't seem to want to you know, record good audio. And to get around that, I went around and got a powered uh, mixer that I use with the cameras as well. Again, not that great because you have to fiddle with the volume levels and try to get this dynamic sound balance right. And I was in a, the rock and roll bands when I was a young kid. I know, hard to believe, yeah, but... Uh, <laughs> But uh, so I sort of have a lot of this uh, audio is a real important thing to me. So in and I noticed on YouTube, you've got a 80% of a good YouTube channel. Is you've got to have good audio. If you don't have good audio, it doesn't matter what you're doing at that point. You can have 4K and, and, and great lenses and using good lighting and everything. But if you don't have good audio, people aren't going to watch. They're just going to click away from you. So very important now so now uh there'll, there'll be a link in the description below of course where you can find this this is a great price and that's really again i always shop out good price because let's face it you can blow 500 you can blow thousand dollars on a microphone <laughs> and these uh just offer some interesting features first off of course the package comes with two of these mics in here and they are they're, they're kind of heavy. They're really whoop, nice quality. Get that off of there. And they're a beautiful microphone. Just looking at them. And they are rechargeable through, uh, I guess we'll call that a, uh, that's the old uh, USB type port. And yeah, so on a USB, we'll charge one up. And also, uh, here's the uh, wireless system. And it looks like a disaster when you see that plug, like a mono plug or something. But you get an adapter so you can plug this theoretically you can plug that into a uh, camera and it's now has a stereo jack on it which can plug it and there's your receiver for your uh, microphone and also same thing charge it up on a USB so we'll fully charge this and then we're going to plug it into this camera that I'm using right now I will hear the difference or at least we'll we'll see if we can hear a difference yes I'm on the wireless now, and uh, we'll try this and just see how this works. But yeah, this is a beautiful microphone. has a really nice on-off switch, has a little digital readout, and charge on the USB. USB is going to be interesting, so I'm going to show you something about that because it's kind of cool what they did. And of course, having two of these means you could do an interview with you know two mics or something like that, both wireless, you know, running to that signal. We've got her hooked to the through to the camera, same as what the powered Rhodes mic is. Now the Rhodes mic costs hundreds of dollars okay yeah yeah you know, this thing is i think around 50 i think it's 59.95 something like that it's a very inexpensive range but you're getting a lot of uh, a lot of stuff here and with wireless there's a lot of possibilities you could put it in a boom system you could put it on a tripod desk whatever and it's wireless so and also up to 120 feet yeah so we'll uh just run some of these things off for you, but the it's you know obviously it's a high frequency uh, recovery rate and it's rechargeable. It's uh, noise reduction built in, plug and play. Yep, F uh, fixed frequency, no delay, no cutoffs, and uh, of course it comes with a really nice storage case. So now we'll, let's switch back to our normal microphone. Yeah. Okay, great for karaoke. <laughs> yeah, great for parties and weddings. Like I said. But also, if you're a YouTuber and you need some wireless microphones, these are not half bad. They're very inexpensive. Now, you probably heard the difference between this Rode setup and this one here. And this one actually has a nice dynamic sound. I can hear it. It's really good. You'd have to do some pump, you know, mess with the volume, that sort of thing. But I just want you to know, this is like I said, about 57 whatever is dollars. This is competing right now with what you're hearing. And what you're hearing right now is a Rode's powered mic that's several hundred dollars going through a mixer that's about three hundred dollars it's a powered mixer and then going through some software when it's finished so yeah the sound is a little bit you know whoa it would be hard for this to compete with with that it, it just uh, virtually would be impossible in fact uh, if you could if this could even tie score with what I've got I would rip 
what I've got out of there and put this on because it would be a lot cheaper to run, you know. And wireless is kind of like I say, it's nice because it's, it's totally portable. Really cool system. And I really like the charger. Now, the USB, I want to tell you about that. It comes with a, a USB single, uh, USB uh, A type plug that you can plug in to charge things up. But it has two of the USB C type outputs so you can be charging the mic and the wireless receiver at the same time. And that's that's good, you know, really good. And of course, then you can also get, come back when you're ready and charge the second microphone so that everything's charged up. I like that. I really like the features. I like, you know, I like what I'm seeing. Uh, the only thing that uh, I would have to do if I was going to, you know, it's, it's like run with something like this is I would definitely probably get a mixer and I would work on the software a little bit to figure out where the best settings are to get the very best sound out of these. They really have that boom, boom, you know, sound to them. So really, they are good, you know. So anyways, <clears throat> wow, it's been raining, it's been storming. We've had threats of hail and everything else here today. In fact, it's middle of the day all time I was recording today. And you'll notice out that window, it's been almost pitch black. Yeah, it's been that bad. Now, the other thing that comes with the case, I didn't mention these, but these are these little rubber rings. And they're a great little isolator ring for the microphones if you're mounting them or you're going to be doing something with them where you want, you know, keep vibration and stuff off them. Now, problem, they don't stick well. So, I mean, they're not going to hold the microphone. Uh, if, the, if you've got something going on like this, you know, they're not going to hold. They're, they're going to go sort of drop through. Uh, I tried it on the boom mic and suddenly realized that the uh, the whole assembly was uh, just slowly sliding through. <laughs> not not a good thing but we could always 3d print something yes yes we can and the, the little uh foam pads on there probably help a lot too to you know for uh pop noise that sort of thing i had a little bit of banging around a little bit with it but uh the uh digital readout on and off like that that is that is really cool you just turn it on turn it off like man that, that is cool uh and also that 3.5 millimeter jack adopter that hooks to it that's good, but it also comes with a full-size quarter-inch type jack that you have in the, you know, in the old PA systems, guitar amplifier, anything like that uses that standard old guitar jack. Well, that's cool too because you can plug that into a big power amp and you've got a wireless system set up, which is really good. But you have to tweak, you know, with the volumes and settings and whatever, which is understandable. I'm not going to spend that kind of time with it, but thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell, and uh, we'll be on to something else pretty soon here. But uh, yeah, check that link out, that price. That's an amazing wireless mic for that price. Over and out. <laughs>